Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the fight front once again. Make sure y'all subscribe. All right, y'all, it's going down June 20th. We got Tisha Torres versus Brianna Van Buren. Just want to give you my first thoughts in this, uh, give you my first thoughts on this fight in this video. Um, of course, I am going to do a full breakdown and prediction as we get closer to the fight. Um, first of all, man, I gotta say, I like this fight, man. Uh, you know, UFC. WMA is coming back strong, man. You know, since this lockdown's been over, they've been putting on some good fights and uh, they've been announcing some good women's MMA fights coming up. You know, we also got Caitlin Chikouigan versus uh, Antonina Shevchenko. We've got Courtney Casey making a, you know, quick comeback against uh, Jillian Robertson. So those other fights I'm going to talk about too. But today I want to focus on this one here, Tisha Torres versus uh, Van Buren. First of all, I got to say I like this matchup because this is a big fight for both of these ladies, uh, Tisha Torres. You know, she's looking for a fight that's going to really get her back into that top 10 status. You know, of course, uh, Van Buren is ranked a little bit lower than her right now, but uh, she just needs a she needs a solid win. You know, she's on a four fight losing streak right now, and she really needs a win against a solid opponent like uh, Van Buren. Uh, Van Buren, as you know, she was the uh, former Invicta strawweight winner. You know, she won the Invicta FC Phoenix series. Uh, she won the very first uh, strawweight edition series and she won that strap. You know, then she made her UFC debut last year uh, back in July. I want to say July. Correct me if I'm wrong, but just doing this right off the top of my uh, right off the top of my head right now. But uh, I want to say it was July 2019 was her uh, UFC debut. And um, since then, she hasn't had a fight. So you know, there was an injury in there. This fight I like for it, man. I really like this matchup for because she needs somebody like a former top 10 fighter like Tisha Torres to let people know who she is. Because I still don't think there's a lot of people out there who know who Brianna Van Buren is. Like, I've seen some of her early fights and I've seen what she's become in the Invicta series to her UFC debut. You know, she's definitely evolved as a fighter, uh, became a lot more focused, worked on her striking, and is a hell of a lot stronger. You know, she's definitely a hell of a lot stronger. And as an early look, when you match these two up, they almost look like two atom weights. You know, Tisha Torres is about five foot, five foot one, and they got uh, Van Buren listed at about four, four eleven. She's about five foot. So when you first look at these ladies, you're gonna think, you know, this is a atom weight fight. But you got two straw weights in here. And when you're looking at them, you think Tisha Torres might be the strongest fighter, just because you know a lot of people are seeing her as being this, you know, rip fighter. But Brent Van Buren, man, she's she's a really strong lady for her size you know, i mean you got to go back and watch some of her fights you know they don't call her the bull for nothing you know so just as an early look i really see in the, i really see this as being a fight where both ladies are going to try to test each other test each other's strength you know um i really don't see van buren going straight in there trying to go strike for strike with uh tisha torres you know she's known more for her hands and being the tiny tornado being faster so it's going to be up to van buren uh nullify that speed and make this a rough and rugged fight the way she's handled some of these other ladies that are tall, taller than her so i could already see van buren going in there and making this a rough and ugly wrestling match and even sometimes picking her up and just manhandling somebody like tisha torres i mean even if you go back to like the jessica Andrade versus tisha torres i could see this fight going kind of the same way maybe you know even being some um Maybe there might even be some good exchanges in there, you know, with uh, Van Buren going in there, going strike for strike at times. But I can see both ladies trying to outdo one, you know, outdo the other with either the speed or the strength, you know, just because they're about the same size. They both want to try to match each other. Um, Cause I see Tisha Torres sometimes, you know, she likes to show her heart. She kind of fights off that. And I think that kind of cost her some of her fights. Cause if you even go back and look at uh, this four fight losing streak she's on, you know, um, I actually was going for her in like three out of four of these fights. You know, I mean, I was going for her in all the fights, but whenever I'm talking about like uh, actually telling people I'm going for Tisha, I think she can pull this out. Three out of four, three out of, four of uh, her last fights, I would say, because uh, the Joanna fight, I didn't think she had a chance in that fight, just being honest. Um, Jessica Andrade, I thought she had a higher IQ and would have fought a smarter fight against Jessica Andrade, which she lost. Uh, Weili Zong, I still get a little heat on one of my post-fight videos because I felt Tisha Torres, you know, fought well in that fight and almost won that fight. But she came up short in that fight as well. Uh, then she came up short in the Marina Rodriguez fight. So there's a lot of work that Tisha Torres has to do, you know, throughout. Hopefully she's been doing a lot of, you know, uh, hopefully she's been improving on a lot of uh, 
like her ground game and just smarter striking, you know, throughout these past few months with this uh, COVID lockdown. Because going in there against somebody like Van Buren, I think she's gonna she's gonna capitalize on every moment that she can. You know, she's gonna go back and look at these four fights that Tisha Torres lost and see a lot of weaknesses in there, and uh, that's gonna be a big benefit for uh, uh, Van Buren. Whereas Tisha Torres, she, whenever she goes back and looks looks at uh, the last three, four fights of somebody like Van Buren, she's going to see she's got a work cut out for it. You know, she's going to have to, you know, really dig for weaknesses because right now Van Buren, um, she's on the rise, man. I think she's really coming to make a big statement. So just as an early look, you can already tell I'm leaning towards Brianna Van Buren in this one. Even though I am a big fan of Tisha Torres, I'm a big fan of both of these ladies, but I just got to be honest. I think right now Van Buren, you know, she's got the momentum. She's got the strength and um, she's got the IQ. You know, like I say in all, all my videos, IQ is very important with some of these fighters. But, yeah, man, I'm excited about this fight. Just want to, you know, give you an early discussion video on this one, man. Um, just let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, it's, it's going down June 20th, so as we get closer, I will do a uh, post-fight breakdown. You know, um, over the next few weeks, I'm just going to go back and actually, you know, watch more uh watch rewatch a lot of their fights again you know because i've seen just about all the tisha torres fights and a lot of the latest fights of van buren so um i'm just going to go back and watch them all you know start fresh before i do this uh breakdown and prediction video for this fight but yeah that's all i got on this guys again let me know what y'all think of this fight you know go, go ahead and give me your early picks in the uh, comment section you got torres or van buren once again thanks to all my new subscribers make sure y'all subscribe combo breaker 99 i'm out peace